Hi guys, and welcome to tutorial 21. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about substrings, and basically what um, this means, um, the string class, it also contains methods that return part of a string object. Now, basically what I mean, remember in the last tutorial we discussed that when an item is created from a class, it is called, it is called an object, and basically when we say return part of a string object, we're saying like, if I can get my thing to click on there, string new, we're going to return part of string phrase, or string phrase, and make sure whenever you're wanting return part, um, whenever you're wanting return part of a string phrase, you need to have a new string, and we need to set it equal to what we want to return, and we're going to type, um, string phrase dot substring. We're going to put our parameters. And basically what we're saying now is um, return um, part of the object string phrase and then we're going to set string new equal to what this returns. And this is not correct yet because we have to give it a set of arguments. And basically this is the same thing. Just think of it as sending um, arguments to a, a sub procedure or a function. I'm not sure what a substring is actually called inside the class. But that's not really all that important. Um, this is going to take um, two parameters or arguments and basically um, whenever you're wanting to return a substring, um, first we need to set uh, string phrase equal to something. We're going to set it equal to um, Visual Basics is great. Now, I'm going to teach you guys about indexes, and and basically what this means is where is where is the letter located? Now we're going to start counting um, from zero. When you're counting the indexes of um, a string, and basically what I mean by indexes is where v is located in this um, string. And basically, we're going to start at zero. So this is zero. V has the value; its index is zero. And then I, its index is one. And then S, its index is two. Remember, you're starting at zero. S is not three; it's two. Zero is basically one, if you want to um, put it that way. So we're going to start at zero. And now we're going to do a comma. Since we're saying, okay, start getting our substring um, at zero. And then now the second argument that it takes, how many characters do you want to include in this substring? So we're going to say, how many do you guys want to include? Let's just say probably three. Now when you're counting characters, it's just like counting um, if you had... M&Ms. If, if you had five M&Ms, you wouldn't start at zero M&Ms. You would start at five. So if we're counting how many characters this thing has, we're going to go one, two, three. So if, if we want to just stop at three, we're going to say three. Now basically what we're saying, I'm going to go through this again, we're saying this new string is equal to the substring of the object string phrase. Basically we're just returning, this right here is just going to return um, v i s and you're, I'm going to display this really quick. We're just going to create a message box and we're going to type. And the reason why we don't need to put this like this and then type what we want is because um, basically the quotation marks um, tell the um, tell this thing that it's a string. And if it's already a string, you don't need to tell it that it's a string. It knows it's a string. And we're going to run this. And when we click this button, you should get VIS. That's um, what a substring basically is. And now we're going to learn about another property in. Um, a, it's basically another substring. Um, I'm going to just uh, type replace. Now, basically, what this does is it's going to replace whatever you um, want want it to. And we're going to type. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's see, what can we type? Visual. And replace it. This will actually make it less confusing. We're going to actually replace great. And we're going to replace it with um, super great. Now, basically what we're saying now is replace great, this right here, with super great. I'm going to run this, guys, so you don't think I'm kidding me. 
and now it says Visual Basics is super great and that's pretty simple right there all it does is take two arguments what you want to um, change and what you want to change it to and make sure you're putting it in quotations because we're telling um, telling this thing that it's a string and the next thing we're going to talk about um, would be let's see which one haven't we went over we went over remove no we haven't went over remove um, now we're going to talk about remove and basically what remove is um, it pretty much here we're going to go ahead and type the parameters and let's see so index and five um, now this is pretty much saying start at zero which remember when we're counting indexes this is the index of where you want to start and the index is zero because we're going to start at v uh, it's less confusing to start out here and remember when you're counting indexes remember to start to count um, spaces that's very important um, so this will be zero one two three four five and then six it wouldn't skip over that anyways what we're saying is remove um, one two or yeah since we're counting characters one two three four five we're saying remove everything from five characters we're saying start at index zero which is v and remove five five characters so one two three four five so when we run this we should get um, l basics is great that's a new programming languages um, google it and let's see we've learned about remove replace and now let's learn about insert and this one's a little tricky now basically what this is um, let's go ahead and type the parameters uh, type two. and basically what this is um, we want to actually type our start index let's type zero and we're gonna this is basically saying actually let's start after the string so let's go ahead and count this it's gonna take forever zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three we're gonna start at tw well twenty two since we don't wanna go over the string twenty two and then we're going to add great um, and then we're, and then you do quotation marks and in these quotation marks you type what you want to add since this is insert onto the string we're starting at index 22 and we are going to type great and then hi I'm going to run this and you will get visual basics is great hi basically that's because we're inserting it onto the end of that that's pretty much all on substrings and the, um, this is actually quite confusing to memorize but um, you guys can just refer to this tor tutorial anytime you don't get it and don't forget to watch this tutorial in high definition because um, you won't really be able to see this very well um, but that's all for this tutorial and I will see you next time don't forget to subscribe and goodbye